Ja, yeah, purple gloss. What? I don't think. Is it? Is the camera on or what? Yeah, of course. I was just showing a wholehearted training, hey. Well, hey. It's raining so hard. Looks like it's gonna rain, rain all, all night. night. And this White is the shirts time. In rain, they bring I'd love to be change. holding you tight. <laughs> but the fact that you're not here. But what's this? The singing channel or yeah. what, Captain Blush, hey? I wish the rain would hurry up and end my dreams. Are you finished or what, eh? So there's it, eh? First of all, all subscribers and viewers, thanks for support, for visiting our channel, for all your comments, for your subscriptions, and for sharing and spreading the passion for the RC planes from this channel to the rest of the world. Because, hey, where can you find a better hobby than flying RC planes? Well, oh, I don't think well, so. the box eh? is so big that it hardly fits in the frame, eh? Hey, oh, I just love this filming today. I was just wondering a few days ago, I was thinking to myself, hey, there is a certain brand of RC planes that nobody is talking anymore about, eh? There is a certain brand of planes that we weren't even filming now for a year, two, maybe three years, nothing, eh? And I said, but what the hell, eh? Who is selling this kind of place, place in the Europe anymore? And now I have found this tour. Of course, I won't do any commercials, but it's unbelievable that I have found this tour that still have all the Dynam planes. Yes. You will say, I mean, we, we have the blue tape projects and we also have the red tape projects. Now, many will say, many, I, I think that since nobody is talking about this kind of planes anymore, many will say, well, what the hell is Dynam anyway, eh? Many, but many of you who know this, they will say again, because we all know from the past, eh, once you get a plane like this, I will tell you the truth about these planes. Sometimes, right out of the box, somebody's calling eh, your phone. Look, eh. look, who is it? Eh? Oh, I don't know. Eh. Sometimes, directly out of the box, yeah, your wife. Yeah. Yeah, what? No, film. No, no, no. She will wait now for a few yeah, minutes. She will eh? have to wait. Right off the box, they do need a little TLC, tender love and care. But I will tell you this, eh? We have had such a good time filming this kind of planes. Because at the end, after you fix everything on the plane, you have a really good flying birds. They really feel light. They don't suck much of batteries. And they fly good. And they... The Dynam chooses really sexy planes to manufacture. They have a little after birth problems later. But like I've said, once you get them in the air, you are really impressed. Eh? And that's it. Eh? So I have found the story. Eh? We haven't filmed the Dynam planes for such a long time. And I think it's time that we see this kind of planes on our channel again. And just for spite, because we show so many other brands. I feel really sad that nobody is filming a Dynam planes anymore. But like I have said, you can't even buy them. It's really hard to find the store here in Europe that still have this kind of planes. And for today, I have said, I will click on a really special plane that I even wanted to buy really in the past when this plane was released on the market. I was waiting for such a long time that now I was afraid that I won't even get it. But I have found the store that still has all the planes and one by one, uh, every now and then, I will click on this kind of planes again for all the planes that we still didn't see on this channel. And what do we have today? Today we have really special... I mean, this is enough, I don't know. I uh, was just thinking a, it's almost 10 minutes and it didn't sell nothing. 10 minutes and it didn't sell nothing. Start and box. Well, eh? well, usually I was cutting it, but Captain Blush didn't tell me that usually when I was cutting, I was also opening the box. And today yeah, maybe well. you can already see on the title on the box, what do we have? Amazing, iconic... Well, at least you can see where it came from. It came from... Germany. Yeah, I have found the store in Germany. That's interesting. The amazing and iconic, you will see also how these planes come back. They're not bad. 
the second version of the Master Schmidt BF1. The wait, Master, wait, Schmidt, wait. Master Schmidt 110. How do you call this? 110. The Master Schmidt 110 or something. Yeah, 110. Yeah, of course, 110. Eh? But the wingspan, this is something that really aileron, caught my eyes. Aileron, elevator, yeah. motor, rudder, gear, and flaps. Yeah, it has everything. For S2200. And I think that it even has the, the navigation lights on. Now, this is interesting, guy. Eh? Of course, wait, I will open the box here. Because I, don't, I think that this will be, I don't know. All right, but you will see. Grab it. Yeah. You will Grab see, it. look, no, 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 you don't have to cut the blocks. Look, yeah. it will come off, look. Yeah, uh -huh. I mean, this is interesting. Wait, I will grab it, and then you will remove this, eh? I mean, check this out, eh? Hey, look at this box, eh? I will put it here, like this. Oh, Do you see it, eh? Yeah. I mean, this is unbelievable. Show to the viewers, eh? Oh. Huh? I and you can it. also get this, I mean, it's but, but interesting. But look at this, uh, look at this back picture, eh? The iconic Messer Schmidt one. Oh, you can also get this if you want, look at this. With a transmitter and receiver. Yeah, you have it in the ready-to-fly version, also with the, it's interesting, with the gyro inside. I will just tell you this, I don't know. <laughs> the BF1100 the served with considerable success in the early campaigns in Poland, Norway and in France. The primary weakness, now this is little history, of this kind of plane was its lack of maneuverability. Although this could be midi mitigated uh, with better tactics, say. This weakness was exploited by the Royal Air Force when BF-10s were flown as close escort to German bombers. Now this is interesting. I always thought in the past that this was the bomber plane. But in fact, this was the escort for the bombers. You can see here that it had the crew of two, do you see they say? Yeah. The pilot and the gunner in the back. Look, a big, big machine guns in the front. Eh? And in fact, I will show you this, eh? I tell uh, potent fighter bomber. During the Balkans and North African campaigns and on the Eastern Front, it rendered valuable ground support. It was the ground support. What's with the phone, eh? Yeah. It was ground support uh, for the German army as a potent fighter bomber. Later in the war, it was developed into a formidable radar-equipped night fighter. They even had a radar on, big radars, night fighter, becoming the main night fighting aircraft of the Luftwaffe. Most of the German night fighter aces flew the BF-1110 uh, at some point during their combat careers, and the top night fighter ace, Major Heinz Wolfgang, flew it exclusively and claimed 121 victories in 164 sorties. Now this is a little history of this kind of plane. I will put the phone to the mute, and now let's check what you get inside. We have seen this, that 1.5 meter wingspan, now this is really good wingspan, and it will run on full cell, and you will see later that in fact this plane has a battery compartment that you can't even put it anywhere else. You just stuck the 2200 battery in, and that's it, eh? So this is it, eh? Yes. Captain Blanche, eh? Let's check this, eh? Help me with this, eh? Hey, it feels so good, eh? After such a long yeah. time, wait, is it somewhere? No, no, no. Is it something? No, no, I, I cannot, uh, like the, uh, like After now. After such a long time to open a dining plane again, eh? Because we had such a good fun in the past with this plane, eh? So huh? this is it, eh? Yes. Uh-huh. Uh, look at this exhaust. Now look at this, Tachak. Wait, wait, Captain Blush. Now let's compare. Now you can do the comparison of the packing of the planes. Different brand of planes, I mean, okay. It's packed in a way. Yeah, good that, enough. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> well, it is good enough, but still, you can see here look, the wings are wobbling inside of this box because now you get the boxes that the plane is completely secured inside. Now, this one already we can see that everything is moving, and usually on this kind of planes, you have a little warp on the wings. But it's interesting, even with those warps on the wings, they still fly great. Yes. And that's unbelievable. Of course, let's start with this. The instruction manual, the Bible of every 
single plane, but this time, <laughs> you will see, this is pretty thin. You don't have much, look. Yeah. You don't have much saying here. Oh, I don't know, look, this is nothing on this side. Mm. All that you have is here. You have these few pictures. Well, this is the most you. important yeah, CG. Of course. The most important thing on every plane, of course, is the CG. But all the rest, you have here the pictures from from uh, picture 1 to picture 24, that will tell you how to assemble the plane. I mean, it's not much, but usually I will tell you that it is enough that by now I was able to assemble every single plane, even just from DSA. And that's it. It is good enough. Sometimes you have to, you have to think something on your own, but still, I, <laughs> believe me, I, if you have a little idea how the planes are made, you will be able to assemble it. Now this, uh -huh. Stickers. The stickers, I just wonder. Uh -huh, they are. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Wait. Because sometimes, ah, these stickers are, do you see? Yeah. These are make like this because sometimes you get the stickers with the planes, they still are the, how do you call them? Water the, transfer. The water transfer, yeah. You have to put them in hot water and then you put them on the, on the plane. Eh? Of course, we can start with the carbon bar. Yeah. Beautiful, sexy, strong enough that will hold the wings. And all the, na all the rest of the stuff you usually have in the boxes look like this, eh? One box and, of course, let's check what's inside here. Oh, look. Huh? In this box, yeah. the propellers. Now, this one doesn't have, look. Counter-rotating? Yeah, it doesn't have the counter-rotating or maybe, no, wait, check. No, no. They're the same, huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah. They don't have them, they could have made them in this day, kind day of age or something, I will tell. But still, who cares, say? The ESCs, Skylord ESCs, yeah. they were working okay for me by now every 50, single time, eh? 50 amp. I only had, you have here, of course, the back wheel. The back wheel, the, the machine spinners, gun, machine gun. Spin gun, machinists. I only had the problem with the ESCs once, and that was. Oh, no, epoxy. I uh, was this glue. Yeah, oh, I don't think you have. Yeah, epoxy. there are two glues inside. Two glues, and of course, I think that on this plane everything is bolt together construction, but I think that you have to glue the canopy. Usually, you have to glue the canopy on and you the pilots see. inside in the plane. Eh? So what should we check next? Huh. Yeah. Let's take out this box. Eh? First we'll take out the boxes and the, then... I think the elevator... Because sometimes you have inside the boxes that's nothing inside. The boxes are just no, for the transport. Inside. But I think that this time, of course, we have something. And let's check quick. <coughs> first, of course, like you said, Captain Blush, we have here the elevator. And let's check the first thing. Eh? Uh -huh. First, always a check. Huh. The warpness, eh? The warpness. But this time, look, okay. Is it okay? It's perfectly straight. Wait, I will examine it quick. Oh. Of course, you have to loosen, loosen the elevator and everything first. And look. Yeah. And it will work great, look. Even now, if I move them, do you see? Yeah. They move perfectly, even though there it's pretty close. It's not so narrow, but still. It will work, okay. And of course, ha, this is something I have seen. Do you see here? Okay. You have here the push rods, uh, the, the, how do you call this? This will be for the rudders. And uh -huh. I have seen on some videos that this wasn't working much. But okay. let's, let's be impressed and let's be surprised. I can see the reinforcement here. Of course, paint job is already done, but you can see here. Now look, there are some stuff, do you see? Yeah. A little, it's not, it's not exactly finished, but still, you will forget this because one thing I will tell you about these planes, what is one great thing, even though you will have to put a little tender love and care of these planes, you know what's the best thing? Cheap. Yes, they still come at the prices that were before this crazy corona when everybody, the, the prices of the planes went through the roof. But this kind of planes, I think that they're still, they sell them for the same amount of money as they were sold in the past. And like I have told you, do you see here? Yeah. You have here Hans and Fritz. I think that Hans and Fritz are the most common names in the German Luftwaffe. Look at this. 
a pretty mm -hmm. sexy look. The canopy, and of course a few cables, wire cables for the for the flaps, ailerons, and I think for the wheels or something. And look at this, eh? Look at this crazy pilot, eh? <laughs> look, they look like they're cold. Do you see this, eh? They are cuddling. They are cuddling each other here in the in the cold, cold plane during the some night night flight Invasion. or something. Night flight. Look at this, eh? And this will be something. Look, the rudder, say. Hmm? Look. Look. And you have seen that this will go. And even this is the bolt together construction. Yeah. Oh, I just wonder, do you see? And this push rods will go here. And just one servo will move them both, eh? Uh -huh. Like this. Uh, hey, I think that we will be impressed on the runway because I have seen the windows, eh? The plane looks so sexy in the air. Eh? Maybe a little troubles on the takeoff because it doesn't have the counter rotating props. But once you're in the air, eh? yeah. this will be one sexy birthday. Eh? What should we take now? Yeah, the fuselage or what? Yeah, whatever you want. And we will save the motors for the last. Let's check the fuselage. Eh, by now, I can see that this is pretty good. Eh? Mm -hmm. No warps. No broken stuff inside. Hey. This is a good sign. And I will tell you how this was. This plane costed me, I will tell you how much it was. It was 300 euros. Oh. Now can you imagine, a plane like this, I will tell you. Double motor plane, 1.5 meter wingspan in any other, from any other manufacturer. This plane would cost you, I don't know, five, five six hundred bucks. But in a matter like this, it would still be, usually it is already all assembled. You just have to put a few bolts in. But for this plane, I will still have to glue a little. Ah, the nose. Ah, oh, it's in the separate back. Ah, oh, it's in the separate back. Ah, <coughs> oh, look at this. Cut it, cut it from the top. How this is yeah, it's a back inside the back. Ah, oh, the building inside the building. Okay, look uh, at this. Gorilla eh? with a gorilla. Yeah. And this is one beautiful stuff, do you see? Yeah. How it's great done. Just these bolts, you just Ah, oh, this is for the battery compartment. Ah, oh, this is for the battery and just put it's it inside and just slightly turn it and that's it. Yeah, interesting idea. And I will show you now. Look at the fuselage, eh? I mean, this is one thing. You should feel how light this plane is. The dynamic planes are really light. And if the plane is light, like I have told you yesterday on that flight with the, with the A1 Sky Raider, A, you feel really confident if you have the light plane because you know that you will not be, you will not have to fly it fast to stay in the air. Let's check in the back. This is interesting, okay? Wait, but this is already... What? I think that this is a servo inside, or what is this? The servo already. It must be, huh? No, this is for the elevator. Yeah, of course it is. This is for the rudder. Yeah, for the rudder, but how does this work, eh? Yeah, I don't know. Let's check. Ah, oh, I thought that there was a servo inside here, but I can see the two servos here. Oh, One is for the rudder. Of course, you also have here, do you see this, eh? You have the markings on. Yeah. The rudder and the elevator, of course, look at this, eh? The bolt together construction, I can see here that the wings will be bolted. I think that even here, the back will be bolted on. Like I have said, the only gluing that will have to be done will be on this canopy. Look. Yeah. But this, how hard it is yeah. to glue this. And, and as soon as I put this on, I mean, look at this magnificent beast. Eh? No, because the always front. I check through the engineering way. We all know what the planes were made for. but. Oh, I love the way, the engineering way, the, oh, I don't know, I mean, look at this, eh? the, the battery compartment, do you see this, eh? mm -hmm. Yeah. Can you imagine that you can see this plane now in real on some event, eh? This would be something to remember, eh? Oh, I just love it. I will put it like this, and that's it, eh, look. Yeah, that's it. Look how simple this is, look. Yeah. And here you can see where the machine guns were. Do you see this, eh? Yeah. I mean, this is pretty interesting. Look at this, eh? Look, eh, I feel really good this time. And now, of course, this is the main part of this unboxing because here we said we have here inside 
the engines and this is the this is the heart of this plane when the engines are let's check quick hmm. of course huh, don't expect some metal gear servos here because uh, this is something that they don't put on these planes I will show you the bottom check this out do you see yeah oh I mean it does have the retractable landing gear and they have put it even the cover on and I can see the lights do you see yeah even the exhausts the paint job is not bad eh? oh look at this eh? and it has the flaps but <laughs> I don't know here you can see now look Look at this sexiness thing. Well, it's not so bad, eh? Hey, pretty sexy now, but here you can see now the the cheap servos yeah, but with the plastic gears. But I mean, e but, 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 but even not the plane is not expensive. Yeah, so. Okay, the plane is just and if you will fly this normally, you usually oh, I don't know, hey, by now I didn't break the servo just in the flight by now. Okay, unless, if you it. unless if you crash it. Yeah, unless if you crash it, I can see some dents here from the transport because the wing wasn't stuck inside, but hey. Yeah, but here you can see a little, do you see? What? This is always on these planes, do you see? The tip of the wing is a little... Warped? <laughs> warped. <Yeah. laughs> do you see? It goes a little like this. I just hope that the second one is also like this. But usually the second one is a little down, eh? so we have, you always have the plane like this, but okay, it will survive, even with this, the plane will still fly great, I just hope, but hey, the motor already pre-installed, and I can see all the cables here, the mount together construction, yeah, eh? we will have such a rock and roll with this plane on the runway, and of course, let's check the second one, I, I, I will check the second one, just for that word, I mean, let's see, eh? If it is in the same way, just put it somewhere. Yeah, but okay. At least this, eh? Do you see? It's not warped. It's again worked up. Yeah, that's good. A thing, little. Eh? But for this, eh? If it is at least worked up, maybe this will even help the plane will fly a little better, eh? Yeah. But the paint job is not bad. Look. No. The paint job is okay. I can see the hinges are, I don't know. <laughs> Do you see this? Yes. What? I don't know. It's okay. You can see here that this was cut later. Do you see? Uh -huh. Usually don't see this white foam. This is not finished. This is not finished here. But still, I will tell you, eh? I will take this. How hard it is to paint this and maybe to even cover this. I will also, I think, cover this or just put a gray, uh, gray paint here, but once you will be in the air, you won't even see this. I mean, it is not bad, huh, Captain Blotch, eh? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm pretty impressed, and I will show you now. You will see, the wingspan is not bad. I mean, look what you get. Look, 1.5 meter wingspan. Now, this is pretty good. Look, this will be a big beast, look. Yeah. And you can't get this plane in any, from any other manufacturer. And this is interesting, eh? Nobody makes this plane except the Dynam. And I think that even though it is Dynam, it will be worth to buy it. And I can't wait to assemble this and go to the runway with this plane because it's so iconic that it's unbelievable. Eh? Oh, I just love the planes from the Second World War. And every single I have, eh, these are all the planes with the story. And once you know the story behind the plane, you even look at it, it from totally different perspective. And I'm really happy, hey, I'm really happy that I have clicked on this Captain Blotch. Yes. And I can't wait to start to assemble the essay. Of course, when we will do the main flight, I will tell you what I have discovered, if maybe there were some problems, of course, I think that I will find a problem here and a problem there, but I will tell you that this time, it looks pretty promising, hey, right now, huh? I think Captain Blotch, hey. yes. I can't yeah, wait to stuck the, the receiver phone, eh? in. But what's today? Yeah, maybe this? something is wrong. This is the third time she's calling me. Now just speak. Answer the phone. No, no. Is it? Yes. But of course, we have come close to the end of the video. So what to tell about now, eh? I love it. I love it, my friends, eh? And this is why I have bought this. I have bought this, of course, for myself. I have bought this for my soul. But we are filming this for all of you. So we will all have fun with us. And we will be 
able to see this plane on our runway. What? Yeah, just We will be able to see this plane on our runway once more. Okay, so this is it. Close the window, Captain Blush. Pilot Robert and Captain Blush signing off from Slovenia with beautiful and sexy Mr. Schmidt BF. Uh, 110. 110, the iconic bird from the second world that you will see on our runway pretty soon. And I can't wait to start to assemble this right after this filming. Okay? Yes. We love you all, of course, my friends, eh? and expect more pretty soon. Eh? Now, Captain Blush answered that phone because who knows what's going on. Eh? Yeah. So this is it. Eh? We love you all. Thanks again. Cut, Captain Blush. What's with you? Eh?